Hey Photoshop friends, Kara Plutonich here with something very different for you today. You are looking at a Valentine card that I designed in Illustrator for cutting machines like a Cricut. So the card, the envelope says, Valentine, you make my heart go. And then the card you pull out and it says, boom. And what's magical about it is that it is animated with these fireworks. And so I wanted to be able to promote this card and show off the animation without my hands having to be in here turning the wheels. So to do that, I put my camera on a tripod and brought it into Photoshop. And the process is so easy, you won't believe it. And that's what I'm gonna show you today. If you're new here, I help creatives up their game with inspiration and know-how on everything from Photoshop to InDesign and crochet to Cricut. Grab my free creative toolkit for Photoshop at karaplichinich.com. And if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe so I can keep them coming for you. So we're gonna start here in Bridge. You can see that I have a series of still photos. And if I press the space bar, I can see a large preview. And essentially what I did was I took a picture and then I would stick my hands in here and move the wheels, take another picture, move the wheels again, take another picture, etc. And when I, I'm just scrolling through these now with my arrow keys on my keyboard and um, it looks like they're moving. So what we wanna do is bring all of these into Photoshop and turn it into an animation, and we wanna make Photoshop do all the work. So we're gonna do that by coming up to File and choosing Scripts, Load Files into Stack. Then we're gonna to navigate to those files. So I'll click Browse. Here I'm gonna just select all of these photos, and then we'll say Open. And here we wanna make sure that we enable attempt to automatically align source images. So even you know if my tripod wiggled a little bit, um, Photoshop will notice that and it's gonna line everything up perfectly. In this case, I don't wanna create a smart object because I want to maintain all of the separate layers uh, so they can be made into frames. So at this point, we just click okay. So you can see that it took a minute and it, it dropped everything into its own layer. So what we're gonna do is open up our timeline. So we're gonna choose Window, Timeline, and we're gonna click Create Frame Animation. And we're gonna come over here to the Veggie Burger menu of the Timeline panel, and we're gonna choose Make Frames from Layers. And now it's generated a frame in our animation. So you can think of this as a, a movie strip, a film strip. So if we click through on the different frames, you can see the image is animating. Now, so let's see what that looks like. We'll start over here and then the playback controls are down here. So I'm gonna hit play and woo, it's playing really fast. <laughs> So what I'm gonna do then is shift click to select all of these and we're gonna set a delay of, I think 0.2 seconds I thought worked nicely. So now if we play it, yeah, I basically just selected all these different frames and then if you change one um, for the delay down here and you can customize it too if you prefer, you know, a, a delay that's not a preset here, you just click other. But by having them all selected, the delay will change for all of them. Down here, I have this set to loop forever, but you have other options as well. Now that we have this all set and the timing looks good, if we check out our image a little more closely, we can see that we've got some wedges and transparent corners happening. So this is because Photoshop aligned our images each of those photos is aligned and because they you know there was some minuscule moving this is what happens so what we're going to do is just grab the crop tool and crop in a little bit 
So I'm going to just maintain that same ratio and we'll crop that. Perfect. And I still have all of the slides selected down here. So what I'm going to do for this last step is bring in a few props. So I have them set in a separate image here. So I'm just going to drag those props into this scene. And you can see they ended up way down here in the layers palette. And I'm going to move them up to the top. So I press Command or Control, Shift, and right bracket key. And that dragged everything up to the top. And you can see that because I had all of these frames down here selected, Photoshop has added this folder to each of the animation frames down here. So what will happen is as we click through them, these layers will turn on and off. For example, on frame one, we see this photo layer plus the props. If we move to frame two, it'll be this photo that's visible with the props. So the props will stay. And as the animation cycles through the different frames, Photoshop will cycle through the different visible layers, but the props will stay for all of it. So how do we export this? We're gonna come up and choose File, Export, and we need to do Save for Web Legacy. This is where we can export this as an animated GIF. We're gonna come up here and choose GIF for the format. So this finished file is 1300 pixels. So let's say that we want to export this for email or something like that. We can come down here and have it resized. We can also basically compress it if we are still trying to reduce the file size. We can adjust this lossy compression. The higher the number, the more compressed the image is going to look. And we can see that at its reduced size, it weighs two megs. So if we wanted to reduce that, maybe we'll bump the lossy up to 45 and now it's down to one and a half. You have to kind of play with these settings. Here we wanna make sure the looping animations are set to whatever it is that we want. And then we'll hit save. And that's it. If we go and open that file now, there we can see it spinning. And I just think it's amazing how simple that was. Thanks for watching. If you have a cutting machine and you would like to make this Valentine card, I will link to it below. And otherwise, happy Photoshopping and I will see you next time.